arrived one day, and the fat controller welcomed the passengers. They looked at everything in the yard and photographed the engines. Duck's driver let some of them ride in his cab. No, the railway society, his driver explained. They've come to see us. Their engine, City of Truro. He was the first to go 100 miles an hour. Let's get finished, and we can go and talk to him. Said Duck Ward. He's too famous to notice me. Rubbish, smiled his driver. Come on. Duck found City of Truro at the coaling stage. May I talk to you? He asked shyly. Of course, smiled the famous engine. I see you are one of us. I try to teach them our ways, said Duck modestly. All ship shape and swindon fashion, that's right. Please, could you tell me how you beat the Southwestern? So, City of Truro told Duck all about his famous run from Plymouth to Bristol more than 50 years ago. They were soon firm friends and talked Great Western till late at night. City of Truro left early next morning. Good riddance, grumbled Gordon, chattering all night, keeping important engines awake. Who is he anyway? The City of Truro. He's famous. He's famous with me? Nonsense. He's famous than you. He went a hundred miles an hour before you were drawn or thought of. So he says. But I didn't like his looks. He's got no dome, said Gordon darkly. Never trust domeless engines. They're not respectable. I never boast, Gordon continued modestly. But a hundred miles an hour would be easy for me. Goodbye. Presently, Duck took some trucks to Edwards Station. He was cross. It was lucky for those trucks that they tried no tricks. called Edward. The famous city of Truro came through this morning. He whistled to me. Wasn't he kind? He's the finest engine in the world, said Duck. And he told Edward about city of Truro and what Gordon had said. Don't take any notice, soothed Edward. He's just jealous. He thinks no engine should be famous but him. Look, he's coming now. Gordon's boiler seemed to have swollen larger than ever. He was running very fast. He swayed up and down from side to side as his wheels pounded the rails. He did it, I'll do it. He did it, I'll do it. He panted. His train rocked as he passed. He was gone. was still cross. I should think he'll knock himself to bits, he snorted. I heard something rattle as he went through. Gordon's driver eased him off. Steady boy, he said. Not the race. Yeah, then, said Gordon. He said it to himself. I've never known him ride so roughly before, remarked his driver. His father grabbed the brake handle to steady himself. He's got himself hammering up, no mistake. So Gordon began to feel a little queer. The top of my boiler seems funny, he thought. It's just as if something was loose. I'd better go slower. By then, it was too late. They hit the wind on the viaduct. It wasn't just a 
total win. Nor was it a hard, steady win. It was a teasing win which blew suddenly on our bus. But to our eyes. Gordon thought he wanted to push him off the bridge. No, you don't, he said firmly. of Truro's visit made Duck very proud of being Great Western. He talked endlessly about it, but he worked hard too and made everything go like clockwork. Henry, 
And Gordon, too. I am delighted to meet such famous engines. And he purred towards them. The silly engines were flattered. He has very good manners, they murmured. Oh, we are, we are pleased to have him in our yard. Duck had his doubts. Come on, he said shortly.
I'm sorry our trucks were rude to you, Diesel, he said. Diesel was still furious. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me, he complained. Nonsense, said Henry. Duck would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to trucks. That would be dis 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 disgraceful, said God. Disgusting, put in James. sent away. So he made a plan. Next day he spoke to the trucks. I see you like jokes, he said in his oily voice. You made a good joke about me yesterday. I laughed and laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Duck told me one about Gordon. I was great. Don't tell Gordon I told you. And he sniggered away. Disgusting, said James. Despicable, said Henry. We cannot allow it. They consulted together. Yes, they said. He did it to us. We'll do it to him and see how he likes it. Duck was tired of it. The trucks had been cheeky and troublesome. He had had hard work to make them behave. hissed the engines. We are tired of you. We like diesel. We don't like you. You tell tales about us to trucks. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. The fat controller came to stop the noise. Duck called me a galloping sausage, spluttered Gordon. Rusty red scrap iron, hissed James. I'm old square wheels, fumed Henry. Well, Duck? Duck considered. I only wish, sir, he said gravely, that I'd thought of those names myself. If the dome fits. <laughs> the fat controller coughed. He made trucks laugh at us, accused the engines. The fat controller recovered. Did you, Duck? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine would be as mean as that. Now, Diesel, you heard what Duck said. They can't understand it, sir. To think the duck of all engines, I'm dreadfully grieved, sir, but no, nothing. I see. Diesel squirmed and hoped he didn't. I am sorry, duck, the fat controller went on, but you must go to Edward's station for a while. I know he will be glad to see you. Beg pardon, sir, do you mean now? Yes, please. As you wish, sir. Trundled sadly away, while Diesel smoked with triumph in the darkness. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
controller and all the engines think I'm horrid. Edward smiled. Oh, I know you aren't, he said. And so does the fat controller. You wait and see. Duck felt happier with Edward. He helped him with his trucks and coaches. Sometimes help foreign engines by pushing their trains up the hill.
Excuse my intrusion. No, I won't, said the barber crossly. You've frightened my customers and spoilt my new paint. I'll teach you. And he lathered Duck's face all over. Poor Duck. Sorry, Duck, he said. I didn't know you were being a brave engine. That's all right, sir, said Duck. I didn't know that either. You are very brave indeed, said the Fat Controller kindly. I'm proud of you. I shall tell City of Truro about you next time he comes. Oh, sir. Duck felt happier than he had been for weeks. Ended, you are coming home. Home, sir? Do you mean the yard? Of course. But, sir, they don't like me. They like Diesel. Not now, the Fat Controller smiled. I never believed Diesel. After you went, he told lies about Henry. So I sent him back in. The engines are sorry. I want you back. Shining with new paint, 